Hey guys, welcome back. I've got Cora here with me, and we're here to talk to you about nothing. Just randomness. Stay tuned. Hey guys, welcome back, and I've got Cora here with me. And she is a cypress leopard, orange dream, heck clown. And she is just growing up nicely here. As you can see, just the clean alien head she's got from that orange dream. And the blacks, you can really see a good contrast between the lights and the darks. She's got that cypress head, which I love. I don't know if you can see that there. And we are so excited about her coming up to size. She is just slamming food and growing up nicely here. So very excited about her for today. I've got a bunch of just randomness to ramble about and show you what's going on around here. For starters, one thing that I wanna remind everybody to make sure they have is your trusty temperature gun. So this week we had two of our, say three of our good, sorry, it's humid in here. We had three of our good eating snakes, I'd say, stop eating. And I couldn't figure out why. So the first thing you wanna check is temperature and humidity. And lo and behold, my humidities were, I mean, my temperatures were too high. So the thermostat was set for 90, but when I gunned some of the tubs, the hot spots were sitting at anywhere from 92 to 94. And what you'll run into, especially on a rack system like you got here, is if you've got the probe on this level, it's gonna control this level to the temperature that you set it for, but you may see some variation in the levels above and below. So this rack here has 10 levels and we've got two probes on it. It's a Herbstat 2 that we're using on that. And it's just always good to make sure you gun the hotspot to make sure things are right. And especially if your snake stops eating, it could be a sign that something's wrong. I started with cleaning the tub, making sure everything was brand new, clean, and that didn't work. So another week passed. So we checked the temps and humidities and the temperatures were not good. So we'll try again next week and see if they take food for us. An update on females. So Cindy, who we thought was getting ready to lay eggs, went into shed. So I'm hoping this is her pre-lay shed and hopefully get some cinnamon sunsets out of her. Aurora is getting bigger and bigger. Nissa is also getting bigger and bigger. Hallie is just enormous. It looks like she could go any day now. And we got a first time lock out of Sunny D, who is a lavender albino confusion paired with our normal Matilda. So I'm hoping to get some confusion het lavender females so we can pair him back to him later on. Oh, come here, sweetie. As for house snakes, we don't have any clutches laid yet. I'm still expecting one out of Selena here. Hoping for some more T-positive albino house snakes. And we had our cantaloupe male shed this week for the first time since we've had him. So he's looking as bright and beautiful as ever. His name is Gaston. And we are just thrilled about him getting up to size. Also, we won our first Morph Market auction. And we got a female Enchi yellow belly pet clown. And oh, my daughter's named her Molly. She's a little timid yet. But she started eating for us right away. She's taken two meals since we've gotten her. And she is just beautiful. So we can't wait to get her grown up as well. And she just made a potty. So let's spot clean her cage. 
So we're using the hexachlor, or what is it called? Hexachloridine, chlorhexidine, something like that. And we, she's on paper towels right now, so we got the paper towel removed. Now you gotta let that soak for just a minute so it doesn't, well, so it, it works. It has time to disinfect. Well, we do that, she wants to say hi. So wipe that out. Get everything out of there. Put the paper towel right there and then I usually fold one up and put it in the front these are the freedom breeder eight tubs I believe so we'll set her in there let her be but she's a new addition here we're very excited about her After I got her, I realized she was pretty much the same genetics as Ember, who's a calico and she yellow belly heck clown, but she looks different than Ember does, so hopefully she'll bring something different to the table once we pair her. And that's a few years away for now. And recently we went to a local reptile expo in Des Moines, Iowa. It was, it's a smaller show than Tiddenly, obviously. And the, I'd say, I don't want to call it a lower end show. There's really good snakes there. There's some breeders there that are phenomenal. We saw Adam from Proper Royals there and some others who we see at Timley normally. It was a lower turnout, I'd say, because it was the same day as the women's basketball championship game for the NCAA tournament, Caitlin Clark's. Iowa Hawkeyes ended up losing to UConn, unfortunately, but it was still a, a fun show to go to and visit, and it's a lot different than Tinley in the way that at Tinley, I mean, you're going to have, you're going to be shoulder to shoulder with people in the Iowa's here. You got a little more room to look around. You've got some breeders here that we ran into that just have never done anything with internet or social media. They strictly sell at expos. So it's interesting to see what they have in their collection. So let's take a look at that.
Yeah. And what did yeah. you say the pairing was again? So the pairing was a, a hypo cinnamon female bred to her son, which was a orange dream inchy hypo. So I think this is an orange dream inchy hypo cinnamon, but I think I had some possibility of some rainbows or some uh, ultra male looking offspring that hatched out. So I'm not sure if it's rainbow or what it is, but it was a mom back to her son. So some hidden recessive gene. What do you think of the Des Moines Expo? Obviously, you're not going to see as high dollar snakes as you would at Tinley, but still there's some stuff to be found there if you're looking to get started in breeding and do it at a on a budget. It is easy to go to a local expo like this and potentially get some good finds for what you're looking for. If you like this video, please like, subscribe, hit that notification bell and we will see you on the next one. Bye.